Hello there YouTubers. Okay, today I just wanted to share um, my view so far on this Tenma um, digital control DC power supply. It's a 0 to 30 volt supply, 0 to 30 amp. Um, it has over voltage protection. It has overcurrent protection, constant current, uh, constant voltage, uh, and five memories. Uh, so you can store your most used power settings. Um, it's pretty quiet. You know, the, the fan's going on at the back. It's not under load or anything, um, and it does. You know, the, the fan does get a, um, a bit faster when it's under load. Um, but it's, it's it's pretty quiet by all by all accounts. Now, a few of the things I like about this is I like this. I like the ability to to turn this thing around, 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 and get my adjustments um, rather than the coarse and fine controls, which I've heard so many uh, engineers suggest that they're not such a great thing. Um, I also like. The idea that this is not strapped by default, and that these two are together, so you can put in the adapters, the ones that come connected together. Oops, so you can put in the adapters, the ones that are connected together, where when this is next to this, you can't because this would be in this place and this would be in this place, and so those standard adapters don't fit, and that's a little bit uh, annoying. Uh, one of the great features on this that I like. Uh, now I've put this on my scope and masked it, uh, put a load on it, masked it up, and I, you know, I faffed around pressing this thing on and off, faffed around pressing this thing on and off. And what you don't get is any spikes, and I'll tell you for why. Because it doesn't matter how many times you do that, you're not going to get that horrible jump from the power being off to the power being on, and that spike that you can incur across a lot of these cheaper power supplies and this is a cheap power supply it's like 60 pounds uh, eBay the reason why I bought this load not because it was 60 pounds on an eBay is because I went to Farnell which is a reputable um, power supply electronics company uh, outlet and they had them there uh, it was near the same price but they wanted some shipping and eBay was the same price but without the shipping so hmm, go from eBay yeah I have not ripped this thing to pieces just yet, but depending on you know the likes, thumbs up, whatever on this video, or any comments made to pull it apart, I'll do a teardown on it. But like I say, back to this uh, the power, it's it's got this soft function on. It's uh, not a soft function, but it's a it is a uh, an output power button, uh, which gives you a lot cleaner on and off of your power because you're not turning the mains on and off as such. You're just turning. Uh, the, in, the inside switching on and off. Uh, you can lock. You can lock your buttons, so no matter who comes in, they can't twiddle with anything because it can all be locked up. Um, and it's got a little beep. It's a little bit annoying, but as you can see, I've turned my one off on mine. It's and it's unfortunate that if you do press that, yeah, you get it back. But you know, you got to press it down and hold it on to. Uh, to, to, to keep it there and every time you press it you get it back maybe there's some sort of little hack I can do to stop that from happening but so far I've been pretty pleased with this thing um, I've had it charging batteries uh, when I first got it I put it under load uh, some resistors and just uh, just kept it going uh, kept it working hard a little bit and just see what the, the scope said and the, the voltage voltage meter put everything on the mask on the scope uh, record on the voltage on the multimeter it was okay, yeah, 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 pretty good, pretty good. So, so far, so, so good for this. Uh, as I say, pretty cheap from eBay. And out of all the, all the other ones that I've come across, you don't see this one replicated under so many names. A lot of those other power supplies I've seen under so many different names, and the amount of videos I've seen with people taking them apart and slapping them, it makes me laugh. It really, really does. Uh, this is why I decided to do a little a little bit on this one. So, I think it might be time to give it a bit of a teardown, but not on this video. 
There you go, YouTubers. I just thought I'd share that with you. If there's any information you want more about this um, about this particular power supply, I'll be quite happy to share that. Um, if you just leave um, comments in the comments area. Bye, y'all.